subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more. Red Cat Reading. Learn to read. What time is it? What is time? What time is it right now? People talk about time a lot, but what is time? Time is when things happen. Time is also how long it takes for things to happen. Units of time. Clap your hands fast four times in a row. One second passed while you were clapping. Sixty seconds make up a minute. Sixty minutes make up an hour. Twenty-four hours make up a day. We keep track of time with clocks. Let's learn how to use a clock to tell time. Analog clocks. Analog clocks have numbers in a circle. The two hands point to different numbers. The short hand tells the hour, and the long hand tells the minutes. The numbers are for the hour. Are the short and long hands lined up? Then it's right on the hour. The numbers on a clock are also for minutes. Each number is five minutes. Each little line between the numbers is one minute. Count by fives for all the minutes in an hour. Count the same way the arrow points. The minute hand tells how much time has passed after an hour. This clock shows 10 minutes after 4 o'clock. The time is 10 past 4, or 10 after 4, or 4.10. You can write the time as 4.10. What times do these clocks show? Sometimes the minute hand is on the left side of the clock. Then, we talk about how many minutes before the next hour. Count the minutes backward from the top of the clock. Count the same way the arrow points. This clock shows 10 minutes before 3 o'clock. The time is 10 till 3, or 10 of 3. That means 10 minutes before 3 o'clock, or 10 minutes until 3. Do you want to write the time in numbers? Count the minutes from the top of the clock. Count the same way the arrow points. The time is 3.50. Think of an hour as a pie that is cut in half. Each half is 30 minutes. What time is it? Now, the pie is cut in four equal pieces. Each piece is 15 minutes. Each piece is one quarter of the pie. Study these clocks. Can you see how each time has many names? What happens when both hands point to the 12? It may be noon or midnight. Digital clocks. Digital clocks do not have hands. They show the time in numbers. You will see both kinds of clocks. That's why it's important to know how to tell time. Try this. Ask an adult to make big copies of the blank clocks on this page. Practice telling time with a friend or family member. Each of you draws hands on all the clocks to show different times. Then, trade papers and write the times below the clocks. Write the times in both words and numbers. How to make a map. All kinds of maps. How do people find their way around a new city? 
How do people drive from one side of a country to the other? They use a map. A map is a drawing of a place. Most maps show places as if you are looking down from an airplane. A map of a city or town has streets and buildings. A map of a country has states, cities, lakes, and rivers. A map of the world shows oceans and land. It may show countries in different colors. Some maps show weather in different places. This map shows where the sun is shining. It also shows where rain or snow is falling. Parts of a map. To use a map, first learn the four directions. North is the direction of the North Pole. South is the direction of the South Pole. East is where the sun rises, and west is where the sun sets. Maps may have an arrow and the letter N to show which way is north. They may instead have a compass rose with all four directions. Maps may also have little drawings called symbols. A little bike may mark a bike path. Cities and parks use a symbol to help people find bathrooms. A scale on a map shows how far apart things really are. Maps. Look at the map on this page. Pretend you live in the blue house. Walk your fingers from your house to the library. Now, walk your fingers from the library to the post office. Pretend you live in the orange house on this map. Walk your fingers to the blue house. Use words to tell someone how you got there. Making maps. Make a map of your bedroom. Start with some graph paper or use a ruler to make your own. Measure the room with your footsteps. Each footstep equals one square on the graph paper. Count your footsteps in both directions. Then count the same number of squares on the paper. Draw the shape of the room. Now count the number of footsteps to different things in the room. Draw those things on your map. Add more things to your map. Count your footsteps to doors and windows too. Then color your map to look like the room. You just made a map. Try this. Get together with a friend. Hide a surprise in a secret place. Make a treasure map of where you hid the surprise. See if your friend finds the treasure. On another day, have your friend hide a surprise and draw a treasure map. Use the treasure map to look for your friend's surprise. Did you find it? Compass Rose Directions Measure Scale Symbols Taking care of Earth Our home Earth is our home When Earth is clean and healthy People are healthy. Plants and animals are healthy too. 
we get everything we need from Earth. Our food, homes, tools, and clothes come from Earth. We must take care of Earth so it can keep giving us these things. Earth has some problems. We can help fix Earth's problems. Problem, not enough water. We need fresh water to live. Fresh water falls from the sky as rain or snow. We get fresh water from rivers, lakes, and the ground. There is not enough fresh water. What people can do. Turn off water when you brush your teeth. Take short showers. Fix faucets if water is dripping. Water the lawn less often. Problem, dirty air. When we turn on the TV, we use power. Using lots of power makes Earth's air dirty. When we drive, we use gas. Using lots of gas also makes Earth's air dirty. What people can do. Turn off lights when you leave a room. Put computers to sleep when you are not using them. Turn off the TV, but not the fridge. Riding cars less. Walk or ride your bike more. Plug cords into power strips. Let the sun warm up rooms instead of turning on the heat. Drive a small car to use less gas. Plant trees to help clean up Earth's air. Buy food that grows close to home. Then, trucks do not use gas to bring it from far away. Grow a garden. Problem, too much trash. Trash dumps are bad for soil, air, and water. Plastic trash is a danger to animals. What people can do. Clean up litter. Recycle plastic, glass, and paper. Do not put computers, TVs, or cell phones in the trash. Use cloth bags instead of plastic bags. Use things for a long time before you buy new things. Only buy what you need. Give away what you don't need so other people can use it. Working together. Talk with your friends and family about helping Earth. Work together to help fix Earth's problems. We can have a clean, healthy home. Plants and animals can have a clean, healthy home, too. Try this. Think about all the ideas in this book. Pick four ways to help Earth get healthy. Start doing those things. Make a list or poster about the four things. Talk with your friends and family. Ask them to do four things too. Help Earth as a team. Danger. Healthy. Lawn. Litter. Power strip. Recycle. Earth's water. Water all around. Look around you. 
Water is everywhere. Water falls from the sky the and end. flows over land. It goes into the ground and fills bodies of water. Water as a liquid. Most of our planet is covered with water. Water is in oceans, rivers, lakes, and ponds. Water falls from clouds as rain. All this water is in a liquid state. Liquid water can flow from one place to another. It takes the shape of whatever it is in. Temperature. Water can change from a liquid state to other states. Water changes from one state to another because of temperature. Temperature is how hot or cold something is. Water as a solid. Think about rain falling from the sky. The rain is in a liquid state. What happens if the weather gets very cold? That's right, the rain freezes. When rain freezes, it changes from a liquid state to a solid state. The solid state of water is ice. Ice is hard, and it has its own shape. Snow is tiny pieces of ice. Some mountains have huge pieces of ice, called glaciers. Icicles are another form of ice. What happens to the ice if the weather gets warm? The ice melts and becomes a liquid again. Water as a gas. What happens to liquid water when the temperature is very hot? Puddles go away after the sun comes out. Where does the liquid water go? Energy from the sun causes the water to change state. The water changes from a liquid state to a gas state. The water evaporates or goes into the air. Water in a gas state is water vapor. Water vapor is tiny bits of water in the air. You can't see water vapor, but you can feel it. Water vapor makes hot days feel sticky. Water vapor can change when the temperature gets lower. The water vapor condenses and becomes liquid water. Then you can see it again. Water for life. Plants and animals need water. Water helps everything on Earth stay alive. Try this. Water as a liquid. Fill a cup with water. Pour the water into a flat pan or tub. The water is shallow and wide. Pour all the water into a tall jar. Now, the same amount of water is deep and narrow. What did you just learn about water? Water as a solid. Fill an ice cube tray with water. Have an adult help you put the tray in the freezer. Check the tray every half hour. How long does it take the water to freeze? Make notes about what you see. Water as a gas. Fill a paper or plastic cup with cold water. Mark how high the water is on the cup. Check the water every hour. How long does it take the water to evaporate? Make notes about what you see. Try the same thing with warm water. 
does it evaporate faster or slower? Condenses, evaporates, gas, liquid, solid, temperature, water vapor. Symbols of the United States. U.S. Symbols. The United States is a big country with many symbols. A symbol is a thing that stands for something else. U.S. Flag. The United States flag is an important symbol. The stars stand for the 50 states. The stripes stand for the 13 states when the country was new. The first U.S. flag was made when the United States became a country. That flag only had 13 stars. Stars were added for new states. The U.S. flag got 50 stars in 1959. Bald Eagle. The bald eagle is a symbol of the United States. This strong, beautiful bird lives for a long time. U.S. Landmarks. The United States has many famous landmarks. Landmarks are important objects, buildings, or places. Many U.S. landmarks honor times in America's past. The Statue of Liberty welcomes people to the United States from around the world. The word liberty means freedom. Many people have moved to the United States for freedom. The Washington Monument honors George Washington. He was the first president of the United States. The Washington Monument is in Washington, D.C. This city is the capital of the United States. The Lincoln Memorial honors Abraham Lincoln. He was president long ago during the Civil War. Two parts of the United States fought against each other. President Lincoln did not let the country break apart. The President of the United States lives at the White House. Every president but George Washington has lived there. Many important meetings happen at the White House. The Liberty Bell is a huge bell that stands for freedom. The bell rang when the United States became a free country. It also rang at other important times in America's past. Long ago, the United States only had land east of the Mississippi River. Many people face dangers to start a new life in the West. The Gateway Arch was built to remember them. Mount Rushmore is a landmark on the side of a mountain. The heads of four U.S. presidents are carved into the rock. Each U.S. symbol stands for people or ideas that are important to Americans. Which symbols do you want to learn more about? Try this. Each U.S. symbol has an interesting story. Choose two U.S. symbols. They do not have to be in this book. Learn more about each symbol online or at a library. Make a poster to tell what you learned about each symbol.
share your posters with at least two friends or family members. Arch Capital Carved Civil Famous Freedom Honor Memorial Monument Statue The end. Subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more. For more stories and worksheets, check our website.